so this is graphing systems of inequalities. Um, you may or may not have done these before in your life. <laughs> uh, maybe you're here just to practice a few of these. Um, but you're probably going to have to graph these by hand. So the first thing you need to know, if you've never seen these before, what you're trying to do is try to find values for x and values for y that are true in both equations. So, you know, if you tried the point 2, for instance, you'd have 4 here and maybe 1 for y. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Yep, that's greater than 3, so it works there. So 2 and 1 are the points I'm using for x and y. So 2 would be 4 here. 1 would be um, 3 here, so 4 plus 3 is 7. That's not greater than 12, so that point doesn't work in both equations. It works in 2, 1 works here, but it doesn't work here. All right, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're trying to find all of those points that work in both. And so what we're going to do first is I'm going to go to GeoGebra so that you can kind of see um, what this is. And so we'll start with we'll start just by creating um, uh, that graph electronically. So I'm going to go to create your own and I'm going to go to algebra and uh, I'm going to go to the so and not that this is a tutorial on on GeoGebra or anything but these are some construction tools. <laughs> this area is your graph obviously x, y, and this is your input. So we're going to use this input to just input that equation. And I, I was hoping I could get rid of this thing. I'm not sure if I can or not. Um, nope, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is just stick something in here like uh, x equals, whoops, x equals 3 out of 2, whatever, something. So that is the line x equals 2, which is kind of cool. What I wanted was this alpha button, which is the symbols, because I'm going to need that to graph my inequalities. So I'm going to hide that, because I really don't need it. And in the input, I'm going to go ahead and stick in that equation, that first one. So you'd go 2x minus y. And now we need a greater than or equal to symbol. Well, there isn't one of those on the keyboard that I'm aware of, so I'm going to go over here to the symbol button. Click on that, and you can see it right there, greater than or equal to. So I'll click on that, and then negative 3. Oops, and then negative 3. It didn't click in there. And I'm going to hit return, and there is the equation. 2x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 3. All of these shaded points in blue are true in this equation, including our 2, 1, which is right here. Let me stick that point in there so you can kind of see. So 2, 1. Well, and actually, I'll just put it in the input value. 2, comma, 1, and it's there exactly. So that was the point that was true in the top equation, but not true in the bottom equation. So let's put that bottom equation in now. 2x plus 3y. Um, now this time I do have a symbol for this is greater than or you could probably pick the greater than symbol out up here somewhere maybe it doesn't have it because it's on your keyboard and then just greater than 12 hit enter and there's that equation and you notice because it's greater than it's a dotted line instead of a uh, of a solid line and I'm going to change that color um, let's see let me click on it Whoops, I put a point up there. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. So I'm going to click here in this area. Click that. Maybe color it pink. There we go. And so now you can see this purple area is where all of these points, so maybe if I could move B over, um, you can kind of see that B, all of these points over here are true in both equations. Points up here are only true in the bottom equation, the pink one, and points over here are false in both equations. So that kind of shows you what's going on. And really that's all you're doing is you're finding out what points work or what points are true in both equations. So how can we do that um, you know, by hand? Because obviously um, your teachers are going to probably not allow you just to plug those into GeoGebra. 
Um, hopefully they're doing a little bit more than this, uh, um, but I guess I still do them too. I think they're just a good practice for graphing linear equations, and you're going to run into these on the standardized tests, so why not, I guess. So when we do this, we're going to go ahead, I'm moving my mic around here, and so I'm going to go ahead and graph this by hand. So what I do when I graph these by hand is I'll solve this top, and we'll do it in blue, I'll solve this top equation for y. So let me rewrite it. 2x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So you subtract the 2x from both sides. And you'd have, you know, here they cross out. That was the reason we did it. You'd have negative y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. Can't combine those because there's an x and one that's a constant. Then you go ahead and divide by negative 1 because we want y by itself all the way across. And so y, because 1 divided by neg negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive, so that's positive y. You have to flip your inequality because you divide it by a negative. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is positive 2, and then plus 3. So the next thing you do then is go ahead and graph that. So we'll go ahead and graph it. So you go up 3, 1, 2, 3. That's your y. Oh, sorry. And <laughs> I just jumped right into the algorithm for doing these. So if you know anything about y equals mx plus b, that number there is your y-intercept, which is 0, 3. You know, let me write y equals mx plus b up here. Again, it's good to memorize this. And so that's your y-intercept. 2 is your slope. And so um, I would use 2 over 1 so we can get a rise over run out of it. And so I went ahead and graphed 0, 3. Now I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. It looks very similar to the GeoGebra one, in fact, exactly the same. And it would be a solid line because it is um, less, uh, less than or equal to. And you would shade below because it's less than. So if you think of this like a big hill here and a car driving, this would be the underside of the car. The car had to drive up that. Okay, so all of those points are true in um, that top equation. So now the bottom one I'll do in red, and we'll do the same thing. So we'll go ahead and solve this equation for y. So you subtract 2x subtract 2x, and so 3y is greater than negative 2x plus 12. Then you divide everything by 3. And so y is greater than negative 2 thirds x plus 4. All right. So when you do that, you go, your y-intercept now is uh, up 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 would be right there. And then you go down to right 3. Down to right 3. Or up to left 3. Oops, and I screwed up already. Um, it's, only, it's only greater than. So there's no equal to sign with it. So really, all of these values are not true along that line. So you need to open circles. So you go down to right 3, down to right 3, down to right 3. And all of these are open circles because they're, they're not true, but they're along that border that is the line. And then you'd have a dotted line through that. Then greater than, you shade up. And again, where we're intersecting, where, where our shading intersects is the solutions that are true for both. And again, you could have seen that in GeoGebra. But that just shows you how, I guess, I do this um, when you're in that typical Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 classroom. So I hope this helps. Um, best of luck, and see you next time.